Okay, so laser engravers are becoming really, really popular. They're becoming less and less expensive, a lot more accessible for people who just want to use it as a hobby, like DIY, a little bit of engraving here and there. And this in front of me is the Algo Laser DIY Kit Mini. It's the 300 by 315 millimeter laserable bed. I've had it for about a week or so now and I've just been trying it out, testing different bits and pieces and see what I can burn and laser. <laughs> now this is going to come in really handy for me because when I'm making stuff, I can put a little JB Wooden Love or JB TV logo on the bottom or somewhere hidden on pieces that I'm making. And eventually what I'm going to do is have this on a shelf, a sliding shelf that goes underneath my desk so I can just pull it out and uh, get laser in. Anyway, let's check it out in a bit more detail. And here's a closer look at it. As I've said already, like Algo Laser DIY Kit Mini, 300 by 315 workable area. You can see on there, they've just been playing around with a couple of bits there. And so here's the kind of power pack where you turn it on and this section here is obviously the laser itself. It comes partly assembled. It doesn't take too long to get it together. Uh, it's got really good instructions. All the bits are there and it's quite straightforward. So your DC plugs into here. Then we've got a bit of a power pack, AC DC adapter, and then straight into the 240 volt power supply. There we go. Get a wicked pair of glasses. We'll put those on in a minute. But that's about it really, looking at it. You can see it's pretty standard. So when it's turned off, you can move this around if you need to, to get to whatever you're working on here. So here's a couple of pieces that I've done already. And this is a bit of four mil ply. And this is a piece of 18 mil MDF oak veneered. You do need to adjust the laser based on the thickness of the material that you are using. And to do this, you just undo the laser here. And then we've got this spacer, which is supplied and you put that underneath there. And then we do these thumb screws up like so, we take the space route and then that is set at exactly the right position. The easiest and quickest way to get started with the laser is to download the app. And this is really, really straightforward. It just takes a little while to get used to, but once you've got the, the idea of it, it's really straightforward and you can just import images and you can also write on it, do text and draw on it as well and you can just adjust the settings, the speed of the laser. Obviously the slower it goes, the more intense it's going to burn. You can also adjust the intensity and you can also tell the laser how many times you want it to do the pattern, like repeat the same thing. So again, you can go further and further into a board and it will cut up to a quarter inch board. I haven't quite done that yet but I'll save that for another time. One other thing to bear in mind with this particular setup, I mean, I've just got this sitting on a piece of MDF, but you can get the laser grill, the like metal corrugated grill, which means you can have the laser going straight through a piece of plastic or a thin piece of wood, and therefore it doesn't burn whatever's underneath it. So. Do be careful, obviously, if you're using this and you haven't got anything, or make sure you haven't got anything underneath that could get damaged. Make sure you're, you, you're protecting whatever you're doing. Definitely don't do it inside. It's a little bit smelly, it gets a bit smoky. Um, do it in a well-ventilated area. And of course, don't forget to wear your glasses. I mean, everything's gone green. Check this out. Yo, check me out. Of course, don't look into the laser. There is this 
red screen down the very bottom it does protect it quite a lot but do make sure you wear your safety goggles and don't put your hands anywhere near it so i've just had this running four times on the same bit and it has gone all the way through I know this is only four, four mil, five mil ply, but see the letters are coming out here. Look, it's a J. Oh, look, we got a JBTV. There we go, look. JBTV. You are correct. Now spell. JBTV. That fan will go off in a minute. It just keeps going to cool it down for a little while after it's finished. Obviously it gets quite hot down there. So that will go off in a minute. But this is obviously going to be really good to create or scribe shapes or letters just like we've got here. I mean these are really small and this is quite thin so you are limited to the thickness really but there's no reason why you couldn't actually cut with the laser some real funky shapes there we go it's gone off now i know there is a jigsaw option on the app so that's really cool you could take a picture and make a jigsaw out of it but i reckon you can have lots of fun with this it's it's really good i'm i'm really getting uh, to grips with it now and having fun with it it's really affordable it's great if you just want to get started and try something new and uh it'll keep you going for hours give you lots of fun so uh there there we go welcome to jbtv don't forget to check out some of my other videos guys there's plenty on there to check out and um, that's about it really. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave a link to this machine in the description box down below and I'll see you again real soon.